Alright, if you want to play Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, or Game Boy games on a Homebrew 3DS, and the firmware is 11.8, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need to go set over my Discord server, it's in my links. You're going to go down to links right here. It's going to be right here. Download it. I recommend saving it to your desktop to make it easier. As you can see, I have Stilux. Let's download it and you gotta unzip it. It'll look like this. What you gotta do? Drag it. Copy it through, yes. I'm just going to refresh it. It'll automatically load. Don't worry about that. And I will show you footage of it working on my 3DS. Oh, but make sure, because most people don't know this, they think you can just yank out your SD card. What you got to do is eject. Secret. Don't format it. And don't just yank it out. That's almost as bad as one. That'll corrupt it usually. If you just yank it out. Alright. And I'm going to show you this footage of it working on my 3DS. As you can see, I got homebrew on my 3DS. Gonna go. Down until it hits my Game Boy Advance. I just used to the screen. It's gonna load. As you can see, you can choose whatever ROM you want. For this one, we're gonna use Samurai Deeper Keel. Good anime, I highly recommend it. Loads. Now, I don't recommend playing with audio. As you can see, here's the frame rate. those of you that are interested in that, but a nice feature of this emulator is you can switch it to the bottom screen to make it a little bit easier, like me, I'm going to use the bottom screen. Start button. I just decided to cut the audio because it's pretty bad. Alright, let's see. We're going to press start. Press start button. Continue. Because I've already played this game on the simulator before. But. It works alright. As you can see, you can choose from whatever character. I'm just going to go with the default it gives me. A bunch of times because I don't read all like a Japanese. Um, but as you can see, you're able to jump, attack, which is basically you need for this game anyway. But a nice thing is you can move around with a circle pad. See, circle pad or D-pad. You can configure your own controls in the pause menu, which for this one, it would be you hit me X button and go down to configure, but I'm not gonna do that. Alright, so these are the to get out of a game. You're gonna go down. Because this is the emulator's menu, so you're going to do is exit game. I'm going to show you about up. Exit game. Exit game. Exit game. Exit game. Make sure you have a separate ROMs folder. As you can see, I've been trying to do quite a few. Uh, game Boy Color.
Here's a Kirby's Dream Land, no, Super Game Boy Advance, Super Game Boy Enhanced, uh, it's just gonna look normal. But the audio, is like 10 times better. And we're gonna go down to this game. Sorry, I'm holding my camera and switching the other. Um, a nice thing about a uh, Game Boy game with a color patch, you can change the file type literally at the end of the file type. You just add a C at the end of the dot GB part, and. Well, you'll see what I mean. See, look at that color. Heck, I'll even do the left of this on the Twitch. But as you can see, I'm terrible with one hand, so. Alright, that is it. See you guys in the next video.